She's my travel buddy for Venice, and we're very overexcited. Um, we actually landed yesterday. Yeah, it was in about three o'clock in the afternoon, so three a.m. New Zealand time. Yes, so we're switching a full twelve hours. Um, so currently, what's the time now? So it's like eight thirty in the morning. So it's eight thirty at night, and we're we're a little bit jet lagged. We, yeah. Alex had a great sleep. I didn't have a great sleep, but we're ready to tackle the day. And today we're going to San Marco. A uh, square which has got the Doge's Palace, um, the baptistry, so like a really big kind of cathedral type building. So pretty awesome. Yes, very exciting. I'm gonna take lots of photos and it looks like the weather's gonna be good, but it's very cold. Yeah. So I need to put my hat and my coat on. Let's go. Ciao. This is our super cute little Airbnb, but it's quite dark outside, so I might give you a tour later. For now, it is time to go. hungry now and we've found a really nice piece of pasta place on TripAdvisor so that's what we're trying to find now. It's very busy, there's a lot of people. Alex is walking very fast. <laughs> past 3 p.m. in the afternoon and we've decided to call it a day we did have one more thing on our to-do list but we're very tired look at these eye bags man we just stopped by the supermarket on our way home and we picked up some things to make dinner we're just gonna make pasta at home which I feel like someone is gonna say is really budget and like why are we making pasta when we can go out and have pasta in Italy but we, we are on a budget. Are, we are on a budget and it's a good way to save money and we just had a beautiful, uh, I was going to say pasta, we had a beautiful pizza for lunch and we were like, you know what, we can just buy this cheap on special pasta from the supermarket which still looks beautiful. Let me show you. Let me show you our supermarket haul. <laughs> so exciting. We used our reusable bag. We got this giant bag of spinach. I've never seen anything that big. It's huge it doesn't look like a huge on camera but like this is my hand so much spinach so we'll see how much of that we actually we eat like Popeye. <laughs> Popeye. oh yeah this is our glorious pasta work it alex work it we also got some pesto for our pasta and some prosciutto we're kind of just making up our own um dinner slash recipe and if any actual italian caesar stuff probably spit on us <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably we also got some apples to have as snacks oh my gosh i went to get the apples and then i couldn't understand the machine that weighs your fruit because uh, it was all in italian obviously and then we saw these ones that are all pre-packed with the price and we're like let's get those this is our dinner creation i think it looks pretty good i'm excited to eat that it is 6.20, so we're gonna eat this and probably go to bed. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. Hello and welcome back to another day in Venice. 
Today we had a beautiful time just wandering around and getting lost in the streets and taking lots and lots of beautiful photos. So I haven't really talked to the camera much at all because we were just too busy having fun doing that. We also ended up going to this really cute museum and they had some really beautiful like costumes and perfumes so it was a little bit different to the museum we went to yesterday and I really enjoyed that. It was a little bit pricey for the size of it, it was very small. Um, but I would still definitely recommend going there if you are interested in that kind of thing. We also had these amazing sandwiches for lunch. I'll put the name um, and the address of the sandwich shop down below if you're ever in Venice and you want to go check it out. I would 100% recommend. What else do we do, Alex? Oh, we went into the Basilica. Oh, yeah. Which is free. <laughs> Another budget hack coming at you. Uh, we went into the Basilica which is in San Marco Square, but we didn't have time to do it yesterday and it was absolutely beautiful. I don't have any footage because you're not, you're not allowed to film in there, but there were so many people taking photos and I'm like, that is so insensitive, please don't do that. But it was just like so magical. It's huge, it's all sparkly and shiny and gold and it's just... Byzantine architecture. Byzantine architecture. Thank you, my little history student over there. <laughs> These were also our cute Polaroid photos that we took today and there's lots of amazing photos on my Instagram so a little plug there, go follow me at Ellen McKenzie. Good morning! We are starting the day off bright and early and we are heading on like a little tiki tour of Murano, Burano and Torcello, is that the name? I can't remember. Yeah. We bought a little pass to go visit the three islands so we're going to be spending the day doing that and should be good. At the moment we're just waiting for our ferry and the sun is rising, it's a little bit sunnier today but still freezing. <laughs> So guys, funny story, um, we thought we were buying uh, tickets for the water bus. Turns out we've booked ourselves on a tour <laughs> and it's like a really cringy tour. Like they took us to a glass um, blower, like a shop and yeah. then they like trundle us all into the shop and they're like trying to make you buy things and it was just weird. And now we have two more places to go. This is fun. Airbnb from Burano and fun story when I last vlogged we were talking about how we accidentally bought tickets to go on a tour and we we're like oh no we just wanted to buy bus tickets and then funny story turns out we um kind of lost our tour group and we couldn't find the bus where to get back on it was really confusing okay like I think Alex and I are a pretty intelligent woman and we just like got lost. like lost we went back to where the ferry dropped us off and we were like it's not here and then we went to all these other places and we're like where is it and then it was past it was like 11 15 and we're like well we guess it left without us but on the plus side we didn't really want to go on a tour in the first place so after some wandering we kind of figured out how to get to Burano on a like one of the public water buses and it was really lovely there we really liked it we took some nice photos and had a really nice lunch and we are so tired. We have done so much walking on the strip, so I think we're just gonna chill out for the evening and we'll see you tomorrow. We're welcome back to Venice. We've got our last full day in the city today and we're just waiting for this tower to open up that I'm staring at. We're about to climb it. It's beautiful. Let me show you. Ta-da! Can't wait to get to the top of that. It's gonna be gorgeous. today because it was so good and I got these two little sandwiches for only three euro so would 100% recommend coming to the sandwich shop. I'm gonna miss it when we go to Cortina. <laughs> 
So we came home after our lunch just to chill out for a little bit and edit some of our photos from today. And now we're heading back out to have a lovely romantic gondola ride at sunset. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gonna be really fun though and it's gonna be it's gonna be really very, really really cold yes I was gonna say it's very very cold and very expensive but we're gonna love it back from our gondola ride and it was lovely I really enjoyed it and got some nice photos and now we've come back to warm up and I'm making us some Italian hot chocolate which we bought at the supermarket it's amazing it's the traditional really like thick hot chocolate you can see on there but when we looked at buying it at a cafe today it was like how much like eight, eight euros. euros yeah these little boxes come with five sachets and they're like under two euro um so what you do is you just mix them with milk up on the stove and then slowly it kind of thickens up so it's not quite there yet but i'll check it back with you when it is and we are finished it's glorious absolutely glorious so it is a little bit later now and we're heading out again to get some takeaway pasta from this little place down the road that has some really good reviews and i love pasta so i'm very excited we're back i didn't even have time to vlog in the shop because they were so speedy but here it is yum the next day and this is going to be the end of the Venice vlog um, we're just packing up the Airbnb and then we are heading to the water boat and then we've got a two and a half hour bus ride I think it is to Cortina so we're heading up into the mountains and heading to the snow and we're very excited it should be fun so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that vlog coming next <laughs>